Hi guys, what's up? It's me again. Got another video for you today. Before we start, remember to subscribe, hit the comments, um, notifications, and everything. And mm, let's go. In jail for five months. That is unacceptable. So it seems right now, um, Jesse Smollett is having some issue in the psych ward. You remember he went to prison. They locked him up, gling gling, and he's like, oh no, um, they treat me very bad or whatever. And I think his brother made the video, so look at this. What's very concerning is that there was a note attached to his paperwork today and put on the front of his um, jail cell saying that he's at risk of self-harm. I want to just make it clear to folks that he is in no way, shape, or form at risk of self-harm. Um, and he wants to let folks know that, that he is, and he is very stable, he is very strong, he is very healthy and ready to take on the challenge that ultimately has been put up against him. Um, this is not right. This is this is completely lack of justice. It's it's angering. It's an outrage. But he ultimately knows what he needs to do. So we want to make sure that folks understand that, you know, whatever whatever inside Cook County Jail they may, what assumptions they be may be making. I don't know why they even have him in a psych ward. Um, we still have not gotten clear answers there and why he's even in a psych ward. And they've recently added to his documentation that um, he's at risk of harming himself. That is absolutely not true um so please make sure y'all are spreading facts the media is going to report a lot of false information okay and we really need our people the people who support us to continue checking folks and making sure that that false information um does not go unchecked so we need we, we're not supposed to listen to experts okay so on top of that if folks could really continue reposting things there's been um a post from my page from jake's page from jazz's page from journey's page all around the hashtag free jesse um hashtag if you could repost that repost similar images make your own images always just include the hashtag free jesse okay and we think it's best if you tag cook county jail um along with it we're we're really just trying to make sure we can get as much um, engagement and attention on this on this injustice as possible. So the experts are wrong. Um, okay. Thank you so much for the prayers. Thank you so much for the support that folks have given us thus far. Um, and to the the influencers, to the influential people out there, to the activists, to the organizers, we need you. Ooh. We seriously need you all. We we need you to step up. This is this has gotten to the point where, you know, it's it's been gone too far. But we are talking about, you know, a, a very serious situation. We need folks support and getting our brother out of jail he never should have been in jail he was attacked he is innocent he, no no no, no, innocent. no. even if you don't believe in his innocence you should believe that he should be free no he should not be in jail under any circumstances so thank you again for your support um we're going to try and do more of these lives to keep folks updated on what's going on but remember jesse is strong he wants everyone to know that he is in no way at risk of harming himself like they have put on his documentation he is strong. He understands what he's up against, and he understands that he needs to be focused and ultimately get through um, these these next days in jail. I mean, you gotta be kidding me, right? So if I don't believe in his innocence, I still should set him free. Are we gonna do that to everybody else too? The people that are maybe innocent, but they're not. We're gonna set them free. The rapists, the killers. The fathers, I don't know, we can go on all day. You can't scream, I'm not gonna bomb the city. <laughs> you go to prison, everybody's gonna be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, get it back, what do you mean? <laughs> not suicidal. You did something bad, you used so much money because you thought your salary wasn't right. You thought they were giving you something so low because you identify in a different way and the black community did not respect you. Your role in the series wasn't big enough. Now you did this weird thing and you canceled the whole freaking series. That whole city has a stigma of gay men that lies and go to prison for a specific salary because it was very low. And as if that wasn't enough, you thought that, oh, is that does this not, that's not the video meet? No, there's more? Yes, there's always more. Because they don't stop lying. Guess who got resurrected? Who is the only black person that seems to have plot armor and four houses? Hey everyone, Patrice Colors here. I'm just logging in because I'm BLM co-founder to Jesse today. And he's strong, but what's happening inside is just it's just unacceptable. Um today is the first day that he's going to be able to get an actual bed. He's been sleeping on 
a restraint bed. Um, uh, they've also filed uh, for him to be released, um, filed to the appellate court. Hopefully we'll learn by this week, uh, no later than Wednesday, if he'll get out. And honestly, we just need folks to keep tagging Free Jesse, um, keep posting. Um, we need folks to call um, the jails and, and check up on him. Oh, had it. Also, say that you think he should be freed. And the last thing is, we need folks to challenge the misinformation and disinformation around this case. That's so critical. Um, what happened to Jesse could happen to any of us. No, and no, no. Thanks, y'all, and. Please take care of each other. First of all, I don't even have to go to the article. I don't have to say anything because this is the case. The disinformation already started with Justice Milieu when he they caught him because two white men in freaking Chicago found him. Why are you running? And start screaming, this is mega country in Chicago. Walking with Clorox and a noose just in case they might find a black person that are gonna do that to them. What? The, the whole thing started with this information. And now you're saying there is this information about Justice Mullet? Look, man, the fact that the brother said that I'm this in a psych ward or whatever, I don't freaking care. You lied, you went there. I don't want you to die, but if you sleep on a bad mattress, I don't care. Why did you lie? Now people need to protect you, but the fact that you make a whole, whole clown fest out of this and they need to get you out, nah, 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 we're not gonna normalize that. And you're getting defended by the stupid people from BLM saying that, ah, they, um, the black people, bada bing, bada boom, George Floyd, blah, 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 blah. You bought freaking four houses, million dollar houses. You didn't even give BLM and now you're being investigated. Now everybody is running away. You just made billions of damages to the big country and everything. It's all rage. We need to get it out. Look, man, it BLM. When this happened, I was like, you know what? Finally, black people are going to get some job. I'm like, no, whoa, whoa, chill, chill. Don't do that. Don't, wait, wait, wait. Don't burn it. There came a moment. I was like, I'm done. When you bought all these houses, I was like, damn, that's worse than with Dan Fauci. When he lied about the mask, I was like, hey, why did you buy four gangster houses? And now suddenly you quit the job. You're the ex-co-founder. Now you found the energy that you float and everything. I don't know, man. I don't know. man. I don't know if you're black, if you're Indian or Asian or Mexican or Swedish. All I know is you're rich and there's a bunch of black people angry because you made an organization that hates people at a certain level, especially if you're white or a cop, you know? I'm, I'm just a coon. I'm used to it. I don't know, man. The fact that you came out, they need to release him and other people need to call. Come on, man. Go find something. You're not even the BLM I'm a founder anymore. I whew, Shut up, shut up, shut up. You're going to get the strike again. Anyway, my MS is kicking in. You know, certain content flips my head. She should, she should have stayed where she felt comfortable, hidden, until they request the money back and sell those houses or something like that. Anyway, I think I've reached the end. I'm going to teach my kids why they should not know to lie like that. And you guys can comment, share, let me know your opinion. And see you guys next time. Peace. Don't get me wrong. My